Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. Now we all know there are different versions of Android, Android 7, Android 8, Oreo and so on, but now there seems to be different flavors. There's kind of stock Android, there's Android One, there's Android Go. What are the differences between all these different flavors? Well, if you wanna find out, please let me explain. Okay, so the way it works for a traditional OEM like Samsung or LG or Huawei would be that uh, Google published the source code for Android, part of its Android open source project, and then anybody can take that code and build Android for a smartphone or for any kind of development board. But on top of that, Google have a series of services, for example, the Google Play Store and things like YouTube and things like the Google Music and Google Play Movies. And those are all things that are provided by Google, but they're not part of the Android open source project. So therefore, to get a normal Android smartphone, you need to take the source code from Google and you need to have certification so that you can use their apps that they will send you. Now, on top of this normal way of dealing with Android, we also have these three variations that I talked about. The first is stock Android, which you get on devices like the Pixel, the Pixel 2, and before that, the Nexus devices like the Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P and so on. Now, those devices, they actually get uh, Android directly from Google. So as soon as there's a change that Google wants to ship out, whether it's a security update or a bug fix, it comes from Google directly to the phone. And then there is Android One. Now, Android One was originally launched in India and it was aimed at low-end phones. But over the years, it's actually grown and now it includes some kind of mid-range or high mid-range devices like the Moto X4, which I'll talk about in a moment. Now, the thing about the Android One program, it's actually Google offering software services to OEMs. So maybe the OEMs are good at doing hardware, hardware manufacturing, at doing retail channels and advertising and sales, but they haven't got an experience at doing much software. So Google say, well, we'll do the software for you and we'll also guarantee to ship updates and upgrades for a certain amount of time onto your handsets. And that's the Android One program. And then there's Android Go. Now, Android Go really replaces the original plan of Android One, which was for low-end devices. And it's a cut-down version in the sense of it doesn't have too many pre-installed apps. And there are some special apps like uh, Maps Go and Gmail Go, which are aimed specifically for low-end devices. Now, the big difference between stock Android and Android One and then Android Go is that Android Go doesn't come directly from Google. Google give it to an OEM like Nokia and then Nokia release it and Nokia have to release the updates and the upgrades when they're pushed down from uh, Google. Now I've got hold of three different devices, one running each of these flavors of Android and I had a quick look to see how they differ. So I've got the Pixel, which has got stock Android on it, comes with Android 8.1 Oreo, and has the security updates, including April, and I'm videoing this in the month of April. I've also got the Motorola Moto X4, which is an Android One device, and that has Android 8.0 Oreo, and it has security updates up till March. And I've also got the Nokia One, which has got Android 8.1 Go edition on it, but it doesn't have any security updates from January. So it seems to be a bit behind there on the security updates. Now, when you look at these three phones side by side, there are some cosmetic differences in the launcher, the way things are arranged, the widgets that you get and the wallpapers that you get, but that's all cosmetic stuff that each of these OEM manufacturers, including Google itself, has decided to include on the skin of Android. But it's not radical changes, we're talking colors and wallpapers and things like that. Now, when it comes to pre-installed apps, the Moto X4 had the most pre-installed apps, not from Motorola, but actually from Google, because they pre-installed things like Google Translate and, and Google Play Books. Whereas the Pixel had less of these Google apps, it had the bare minimum, kind of the Play Store and YouTube and things like that, but it also had the Daydream application because the Pixel is a Daydream compatible handset. At the other extreme, you've got the Nokia one, which had very, very few apps pre-installed, uh, but they are all available on all three devices. All the apps from Google are available on the Play Store, but none of them came with kind of bloatware. They all came with basically a pure Android experience. However, it is worth noting that some apps are the same across all devices. So for example, the calculator app 
was exactly the same across all three, but other apps can be quite different. So the camera app was different for every single device and they had different ranges of functionality with each device. So even though you're buying an Android device and it might be Android One or it might be stock Android, the camera app isn't guaranteed to be the same. And that's mainly because the hardware that it's running on, what's available is very different. So for example, the Moto X4 has got dual camera, whereas the Nokia One doesn't, for example. So there's a big difference in what's available and therefore the camera app has to reflect that. Okay, just to sum up, so you've got stock Google that's on the Pixel and the Nexus range, and that comes directly from Google, and the updates and security patches come directly from Google. Then on the other hand, you've got the Android One program, where again, the uh, software and the updates come directly from Google, and Google uh, offer a period, about two years of updates for those phones. Then thirdly, you've got Android Go, like on the Nokia One, and that comes directly from the OEMs, so in this case from Nokia, doesn't come from Google. The changes and security patches are shipped to Nokia, and then Nokia have to ship them out uh, to the handsets. My name's Gary Sims, and this is Android Authority. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm gonna ask you, please subscribe, please hit that bell notification icon, do leave a comments below, and well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.